Yeah, you want to just yeah. do that? So sounds good. All right, so video spotlight, Todd Scheller, President Todd Scheller. So, well, thank you for being the, the Fresno Rotary 2019-2020 president. Um, My pleasure. The first, pardon? My pleasure. Yeah, and the first video spotlight, too. It's been almost, what, two and a half years ago that you said yes to being president. Um, and now this pandemic hits. Yeah. Just, just the last couple of months of your presidency. So what it's, what's it been like to lead a club? during this um, pandemic and trying to do virtual meetings. Yeah, you know, I think it's been, it's been fun in a way. It's uh, kind of uh, evolved into new opportunities. I think uh, working with uh, you, Anna, and the board, and we've kind of looked for different opportunities. Obviously, we love the one-on-one -on -one, uh, handshakes and getting to see everybody on a Monday, but uh, the Zoom stuff is, is working out pretty good. So it's, it's a change, but I don't think it's such a negative change as we kind of evolve as a club and then Rotary uh, overall as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, there must have been some conceptions and ideas that you had becoming president. Um, so, you know, that's what, what have you been surprised about? What have you um, prepped for? You know, you prep and then you're actually in the position. Yeah, uh, over uh, several uh, adult beverages in Hamburg, Germany, you have all these wonderful uh, ideas and all these thoughts uh, over the last two and a half years and then you get the go as Maureen hands you the uh, gavel if you will so um, or President Al as, as we kind of transition Maureen did the uh, introduction but you know I think the the thing that that's consistent is just our rotary leadership uh, outside of the things that I've wanted to do and have accomplished there's some things that allowed me to kind of ebb and flow with a lot of things and uh, things I didn't think about, which is, which is, I guess, like any, any business organization, you've got a, you've got a good goal and a, and a good solid uh, idea set going forward. And then you kind of ebb and flow. So I think that those things just kind of happen. And uh, thankfully uh, with your leadership, Dick's leadership, uh, the, the president council and our executive uh, members that we work with, I think, I think that's been really helpful. The club does have tremendous leadership. That's, mm -hmm. it's a great resource for everything. So I'm looking around your office here. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about what you do on a, on a day to day basis and about yeah. your company? Yeah, I am an investment manager with uh, Lyles Diversified. So I started almost 19 years ago. Uh, so that is a crazy amount of time. But I started on the construction side, we have construction and then everything outside of construction. So I worked about eight or nine years on the construction side and then uh, moved over with Gerald on everything other than construction. I had a great time. So it's uh, investment management on uh, ag, our apartments uh, throughout the Western United States, uh, all of our partnerships, uh, our developments. And uh, yeah, it's fun. No two days are alike. So it's been, been a good, been a good uh, employment uh, and, and, and having Gerald as a mentor, no doubt about it. Yeah, strong, strong influence here in the Fresno community as well. So. Well, this is something you and I would be probably doing once a week, just meeting at a Starbucks. I know I miss, I miss going to Starbucks um, and sitting through the drive through but uh, now what would, you, what would you get at Starbucks? What would be your favorite drink of choice at this time? Yeah, I am an iced coffee kind of guy. I do not like hot drinks for whatever reason. I'll, uh, I'll rummage through a tea uh, once or twice a year if I'm somewhat quote, told to be relaxed. But other than that, I am an off, an iced coffee type of guy. Venti only. Don't waste my time with the, you know, uh, the grande or the tall. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to get those at least once a day or so, uh, as long as my budget can handle it. Yeah, caffeine's our friend, that's for sure. So, mm -hmm. um, And I know in some of your off times, you, you like baseball and you Minnesota Vikings. What mm -hmm. are some of your hobbies and favorite pastimes? Yeah, so uh, I got uh, two boys in high school, so that's definitely a hobby or a pastime. I'm obviously trying to you know keep them engaged uh, with things we do. Uh, I do like CrossFit. Uh, it's been a little different uh, doing Zoom CrossFits and some of those things. Don't always get that opportunity. Uh, I was a runner in uh, high school and college, so I still jog now as uh, my running days are probably over. But then, you know, I enjoy a, a jog every now and again, and I am a big uh, Jeep or four by four fan, uh, desert or the Sierra. So I enjoyed that as much as possible. Nice. Nice. So, so your sponsor, who was your rotary sponsor and how did you get involved? What made you say yes? to? Yeah. Uh, 
Gerald Lyles was my sponsor. So that's when I was kind of coming over to the development side of the uh, company. Uh, I'll never forget it. I, I said, well, I've, you know, I've been involved with nonprofits. I've been on boards that, you know, meet once a month. So, you know, what is, what is Rotary like? And he goes, well, uh, we meet every Monday and I've never missed a meeting. I said, okay, well, there's the bar. There's, there's what we, uh, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I think with Lyles, we have a long family history within Rotary. Um, uh, uh, and the aspects of utilizing Rotary contacts and the Rotary, we don't sell things, but that exchange of information has been invaluable. Uh, I, will, I will say that that has been a, a great, uh, I guess, leadership aspect uh, from Gerald on to me, how I've gained from Rotary in that in that day-to-day -day use of just talking to people that are fellow business people and uh, people that you admire, no doubt about it. Absolutely, it's a great resource. Absolutely. So uh, this year is wrapping up. What uh, yeah. what do you want? What do you have left to accomplish for May and June? And what would you say to, to incoming presidents? Or uh, yeah, you, um, you know, you kind of start out the year thinking I got 44 meetings left. You know, and 44 meetings with uh, scallop potatoes. I don't have <laughs> any scallop potatoes in in a Zoom meeting. Although I'm gonna. I think I'm going to get one before the end of this, uh, have Pardini's deliver me a scallop potatoes so I can enjoy it in my last Zoom meeting. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, as far as accomplishments, it's just really, um, you know, getting people engaged in Zoom. Uh, I'd love to see the numbers grow. That's been fantastic. Uh, but, you know, our membership has, has certainly suffered, and I've taken that a bit more personally than I probably thought I would. Uh, I think that's a typical thing with a president. You know, you kind of start out thinking that, well, we'll lose some, we'll gain some, but then you think it a little bit more personally on, wow, that's a lot. We don't, you know, we need to, to, to grow our membership rather than less than. And I think uh, if we can pick up a new member or two and engage or retain some members, that would be great. That would be a, a good goal over the last uh, six weeks or so. That would be really great. That would be so. Well, thank you, President Todd, for uh, letting me interrupt your day here for a few minutes and interview you. So it's been a joy and it's been a pleasure getting to know you over this presidency and, and helping you accomplish the goals for the year. So thank you so much for your leadership and service. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate that. I'm only as good as you. So you, you rock every day. There's no doubt about that. Appreciate all your leadership and service with the club. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's a great membership group. So. Yeah. Right. Bye.